Dear friends, good morning on Thursday the 11th of June. Yesterday we looked at some examples of pride which the Proverbs warn us against. Today we're thinking about the cure for pride. Proverbs 15.23 says this, The fear of the Lord teaches a person wisdom, and humility comes before honour. The fear of the Lord is where we began our series in Proverbs, by being reminded that it is the beginning of wisdom. But to fear the Lord is not just the beginning of wisdom, it's the pathway of wisdom. To fear the Lord means to be humble. It means to recognise that God is infinitely greater than we are, and we must defer to him and to his ways. But how do we do that? It's so hard to be humble. I know of only one way. When God came into his world, he didn't come to a cradle in a royal palace, but to a dirty manger in a stable. He was born into a poor family, and he lived his life as a stranger and an outcast. He never owned any property. When he entered his capital city, he entered gentle and humble, riding on a colt, the foal of a donkey. He was betrayed and deserted by his friends, and he died the most ignominious death imaginable, nailed naked to a cross. Here is the ruler of the universe, showing us what true humility looks like. But not only that, here is the ruler of the universe, showing us just how much we're worth. He did all of this for you and for me. The cross proves that when God looks at us, he values us more than all the silver and gold in the universe. He must do. He gave it all up so that he could have us as his sons and daughters. When we begin to take this in, it melts our pride. It shows us how deeply sinful we are. If God had to come to this earth and die in such humility to me, I am more sinful than I ever dared believe. But it also shows us how precious we are. If God had to come to this earth and die in such humility for me, I am much more loved than I ever dared hope. The cross also humbles us before other people. We cannot be proud before the cross. It is level ground before the cross. No one is better than anyone else. We're all equally lost sinners, more sinful than we ever dared believe. We can stop comparing ourselves to each other. The competition is over. We've all lost. But the cross also raises us up. It shows us how precious we are to God. It gives us a great dignity. We have the highest status in the universe. Sons and daughters of God. More love than we ever dared hope. So we can stop comparing ourselves to each other. The competition is over. We've all won. So to learn humility and to fight pride, we have to go to the cross constantly every day. Unless we do, we will slip back into pride and competition. God bless you today.